right, so I just got back from watching the latest Marvel movie, The Marvels, uh, the sequel to the 2019 film Captain Marvel. Um, so this has been the third MCU movie we got this year, and it will be the last MCU movie we have for a bit of a while, um, according to the sources on the internet. But enough about that, what about this movie? Uh, well, I can confidently tell you that it is a very inoffensive, fine movie. Uh, if you just want to go and watch a fun action adventure movie that's in space, that's not going to make you think too deeply about anything. Uh, that's not going to, it's not going to make you feel um, conflicted about character motivations or get too excited about fun revelations or anything like that. Then this is the movie for you. It is a very aggressively mediocre um which you know i again i don't want to say that too as a disservice to the people that did work hard on this movie but that's just what it is it's it's very eh. i i didn't aggressively hate anything in this movie but i didn't aggressively love anything in it either uh, which is a shame because for a period of time marvel studios was putting out banger after banger uh, movies that were just fantastic one after another. I mean, 2017 alone, we got Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Thor Ragnarok all in one year. It was incredible. What a time to be alive. And now we've kind of come back down to Earth, where this year we've got Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, eh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, great, and then this one, The Marvels, which is also eh. Um... So, yeah, I do think this one is better than Quantumania because I feel like Quantumania thought it was really good, but it wasn't. This movie doesn't try to be some big epic. Uh, it is a big space epic, but it's not trying to be the next, you know, Captain America Civil War or, you know, even, uh, you know, Spider-Man No Way Home or something like that. It is a self-contained Captain Marvel venture with her, you know, new friends, um, Monica Rambeau and uh, Kamala Khan with her. And honestly, when those three are together doing fun superpower stuff, learning their powers and interacting with each other, it's charming, uh, which is something that the MCU does best. The MCU really has found out how to make character interactions fun. Um, I wouldn't say it's on par with some of their best work, but it's definitely serviceable. It's fine. It is a highlight of the movie. Um, the action is okay. It's pretty standard. Uh, the finale has the best action because it's the easiest to tell what's going on, probably because it is in an enclosed space. So you can easily follow punch after punch, which person is where in the room. Uh, when it's a more open space, uh, it's kind of hard to tell who's where and what's going on, um, especially where, if you've seen in the trailers, they're kind of teleporting between each other when they're using their powers. Um, but yeah, this is also the first Marvel movie that whenever plot mechanics were being explained about, you know, how a supervillain got their powers or, you know, how certain technology works or why a superhero can use a certain power to solve this problem, my mind just completely glazed over. And that usually doesn't happen. I can usually follow this stuff pretty well. And not that it was confusing. It's just, it was so hand wavy and so wishy-washy that I knew, oh, this doesn't really matter. I can just ignore this stuff and just kind of accept it. Forget everything you know type of thing. Don't ask any questions. If you wonder, wait, how does this make sense logically? It, you're not, it's, you know whatever, um, which is kind of the word of some of this movie. It's whatever. Um, I wouldn't say you have to rush out to the movie theater to watch this immediately. This is definitely something you can wait until it's on Disney Plus. Um, but there are some fun post credit scenes that I won't spoil, but they are fun. And again, the performances are all fine. The characters are okay. Um, but it, it's just nothing special, which is a shame because the MCU has given us a lot of special things. And I would like to get for them to get back to those days, um, but hey, it might be later rather than sooner when we get there. Um, but yeah, if this intrigues you, then go ahead and watch the Marvels and see for yourself.